Hi, Patricia Love back from Love Healing Hearts. Listen, tidal wave, another warning dream. Now these dreams, I'm going to tell you two of them, took place approximately eight years ago. I just feel like it's time to tell the dreams now. First, I'm going to tell you my niece's dream of a tidal wave. Second, I'm going to tell you my dream. The first dream took place in downtown Los Angeles, California. My niece Peggy dreamt that she was walking along the streets in downtown LA. Listen to the symbolism. She said that she happened to notice some people looking up. And as she looked at them, she looked to see what they were looking at. And she noticed what they were looking at was a very tall tidal wave. It was practically standing still. She didn't recognize the speed of its movement. She was just startled by its presence. I believe she said it looked approximately 10 to 18 stories high. It was somewhere way up there, skyscraper height. And she said the only ones that could see the tidal wave, listen to this, were people who were looking up. Everyone else was busy about their business, doing their thing, going to work, coming from work, crossing streets, talking on the phone, uh, you know, whatever, sitting, having lunch in the outside street cafes. They were all busy doing their thing, catching buses, getting off of buses. But the only few that noticed the tidal wave's presence were the people who were looking up. You get it? So what ended up happening was she ran to the parking lot to jump in her Jeep. And she was going to hurry up and wind up the window, pray, and, and ask God to, to forgive her and make sure everything was right and ready because she knew that was going to be her last moment. But as she was praying, she opened her eyes and looked around and realized the tidal wave hadn't come on her yet. Timing wasn't correct. So she looked out the window and the tidal wave was creeping along extremely slowly. She said maybe two or three miles an hour. It was very, very slow. A person could walk faster than that tidal wave was moving, but it was a wall of water. And she said it looked like ocean water. Okay. Now what she did was as she prayed and said, well, what do I do? How do I get away from this thing? She heard a voice tell her, go to higher ground. So she drove toward the freeway so she could drive to Pasadena and then ultimately to Altadena. That was the highest ground she could think of at the moment because she lived in that area. So that's what she did. And as she was on the freeway, she looked back and she could see the wall and it had finally covered the area where her Jeep had been parked. But she was in safety because she was headed in the right direction. Crazy, huh? Number two, this is my dream. I dreamt that I was standing outside of a building with a couple of people. And we happened to notice this wall of water appear. And we noticed it was standing still. It wasn't moving. So we ran inside to warn people to stay inside the building and close all the windows and blah, blah, blah. And the next thing I knew, I looked outside and there was this little girl. I couldn't tell if she was Caucasian or Spanish, or, but she was a little girl, maybe about five or six years old, holding her dog. So I looked out the window and the tidal wave hadn't gotten to her. And I ran out the door and I picked her up and, and brought her inside the building. And then I woke up. Now, I know it was simple. It was short. But so many of my friends in that same month 
were having dreams of tidal waves. And it was always something that was looming. They could tell it was busy at the top and it looked disturbed at the top, but it was a little more calm as it got closer to the ground. And it was never moving quickly. And what they noticed was that it felt like something that was like a pending doom. It was on its way. It just hadn't broken forth yet. And that was the main thing that we all kept feeling was that something was coming. We didn't know what, but we knew it was bad. So pray, you guys. Pray. Those of you who don't know the Lord, get right with God. This is no more playtime. It's pray time. Please. That's it. I'm not going to go any further. God can give you dreams and warnings. Ask for it. Because we all need to be as prepared as possible. Amen. God bless you.